angry guy here and the darkest period for women in modern history is about to begin. The darkest period for women in modern history is about to begin. It's going to be something women have not have not experienced because they don't know how to experience it. Today, women are called powerful victims. They are born victims, but they have the power to overcome it because through victimhood, they find purpose and power and strength and money. But that world is coming to an end now. You see, they played that card too many times. They overplayed their hand. They kept pushing men away. They kept accusing men of things they weren't doing. They kept using the victimization card. And no one likes a victim. No one likes the person who constantly plays a victim. No one likes the person who constantly says, Big Bad Wolf is here. And worst of all, the Big Bad Wolf is picking on me. Worst of all, you're the big bad wolf. The person who's supposed to protect me, you're the big bad wolf. And as a result, men have had enough. Men said no more. And men began walking away entirely. Walking away from women, walking away from society, walking away from the plantation, disengaging from the matrix. Now, women will not be able to find the man to marry because men have walked away and no longer trust Western women. Men have walked away and no longer trust Western society. Women are now older. They have no family. They have no close bonds. And in many cases, they have no children. Their job prospects are diminishing. As these women get older, employers want younger women to fill these job roles. It's not sexism. It is ageism. And it's a normal part of life. Just like women before them were pushed out of the workforce And younger women were prioritized for those roles. It's the exact same cycle is now happening again. The finances of women are beginning to become depleted. Women are no longer able to maintain their lifestyles as their jobs cannot finance it. And with fewer men willing to step up to help them as they get older, they're losing access to those resources. They're losing access to that safety net. And that is putting a new burden on them that women have never experienced before. Not even their mothers have experienced this. Because their very mothers were married for many years. And when they split from their fathers, they had children. They had resources. They took half of the man's stuff. These women won't have anything. They won't have anyone to depend on. In many cases, their baby boomer parents people I refer to as a whole as a whole generation have depleted everything. They're not leaving anything behind for their children. They cleaned the meat off the bone. They sucked the marrow from the bone. And now they're coming back for the bone. 
This is just the reality of things. There will be nothing for these women. There will be no safety net from their parents. There will be no safety net from society. As many of these women become demoralized and begin dropping out of society and attempting to claim things like social security disability, they will find themselves being rejected and being told that they're able-bodied people and they need to go out and find work. And those who are accepted will discover that they're only receiving $800 to $1,000 checks a month. What are they going to do with that? What rent are they going to pay with that? How is that going to cover their utilities? How can they live on that? And the answer really is they can't. The beginning of the end is here. 45% of all women between the ages of 25 and 44 will be single and childless come 2030. It's already 41% and it will rise to 45% in just seven years. And we're not even talking about the generations beyond that 44. We're not talking about the oldest of millennials that will be pushing 50 years old in 2030. We're not talking about the younger generation Xers who will have already been in their 50s and are now pushing 60. And they too are single and childless and they don't have an income to provide for themselves so what do they do many will live in poverty many will find themselves homeless many will live literally off the scraps of the government they will discover the misery of public assistance, where it gives you just enough to survive, but not enough to thrive. And the women who will be prioritized will be the one with, with children. And many of those women will have been waiting on lists for many years. There are many women who will find themselves living in tent cities. Do you not remember many years ago when I spoke about it? I said FEMA was hiring. Have a look. FEMA is hiring. They are preparing. In these 10 cities, when people go in, they won't come out. There will be these massive sprawling 10 cities. Hygiene will be questionable there. Disease will be rampant there. Fighting for food will be significant there. But I will tell you this, as I said many years ago, when Tyrone is hungry, when Tyrone wants a meal, he's going to eat. When he wants a lady, he's going to have a lady. He will go without nothing in there. But there will be many, many, many women who will go without. And while this is happening, men increasingly will be going overseas abandoning Western society and Western women to form new lives and new families. This is the future. 
the darkest period for women in modern history is about to begin. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications to never miss another video again. Hit the like button to tell YouTube that, hey, I want to see more of these kinds of videos. The darkest period for women in modern history is about to begin. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys, if you agree with me. I told you this time was coming many years ago. And it's almost here. Let me know if you agree. Like, share, and subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away. And cheers.